Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of Theocritus Idol 7, the Thalysia, and I got up to line 63. So we're in the middle here of this beautiful song of Lycidas, in which he's talking about um, his very passionate love for Agianax, and Agianax has gone on a journey to Mytilene, and Lycidas is praying for a safe journey for him. And the whole point of the poem is, on the one hand, we have this uh, passion described in quite um, strong language earlier on about this burning passion, uh, passion that he has. And then after Agianax is gone, we now have this counterbalance that um, leads, the, so that the tension of the burning love is now count, counterbalanced by the pastoral delights described in the following lines. This is one of the sort of themes in Theocritus in various places, this idea of tranquility, of what you might call in Latin otium, uh, in um, this sense of quietude and release and relief provided by this pastoral setting. So he continues here, Kago tene uh, for kai ago, tene kat Ama, that's another word for Hema, day. Uh, so I, on that day, now I've got to jump down to the participle down here, Fulason. Fulason very crati, this is another from the word for a head, this is the dative here. Um, guard, it means guarding, but um, one could possibly take this to have the sense of holding firm, perhaps. So guarding or holding firm around my head, uh, a, a yeah, uh, so anatinon is a, a plant word, it means dill, or uh, rhodoenta or rose, or perhaps we probably put it in roses here, uh, or a garland made from luke oyone. Now these are white violets. But the exact identification of all these plants is not totally certain, especially for this one here. So it's, it's guarding or keeping, so on that day, um, holding firm around my head dill or roses or a garland of white violets. Uh, af uxo uh, is the future from af huso. So it means to draw off. It's used to drawing off wine. So uh, having drawn, uh, I will draw off wine, and it's a Patellian wine, uh, about which um, I don't know we know much about. So wine of Patellia. So I will, I will draw off Patellian wine from the crater, from the mixing bowl. Keklimenos, from Clino, perfect participle. That's middle here, having reclined power for power beside the fire. And someone, we're not told who, Tis Fruxe from Frugo is this is the future here. And someone will roast Kuemon. Well it's a singular, it means a bean, but probably flip plural is meant here. Uh, beans in Puri in the fire. Now this is again interesting in terms of the poem here. The uh, often the um, in these love stories, the the rejected or frustrated lover often tears the garland to pieces, uh, which is, a, in other words, it's a destructive act. And here it's the exact opposite. He's going to fool us on this Stephanon. He's going to keep it and guard it. And again, it's this balance between the passion that he suffered before. And now is subsided now that, now that Agianax is gone. Well, the the pastoral uh, uh, vision continues. Castibas esetai pekukasmena est epipakun. So, ka for kai he or ha here. Stibas third declension feminine now that means a bed of leaves. Uh, and then esetai, this is the future from um, uh, from the verb to be, so esemai, 
uh, set tie, but it's SA tie here. So the um, the bed of le there will be a bed of leaves, pep uh, pepper on from Porcasdo. Well, pe perhaps covered is generally the translation of this. So it's a perfect participle being used here as uh, an adjective. So covered. Now the est, notice the accent here, this is este, and it's not the verb to be, it means until. So este epi, so as far as, or literally until, uh, pakun, a cubit. In other words, uh, a cubit in height. So a uh, so this bed of, of leaves, there, there, there will be a bed of leaves um, covered up to uh, a cubit high and it's going to be covered with these four, well we get four words, there are three different objects here and they're all beautifully connected by a te. This is a lovely poetic line here. Knuzda uh, is fleabane, you can look up the have a look at some pictures of what this looks like. It's just a flower. So covered with flea bane, ash foddle, and very curly selenos parsley. So he's got this rather elaborate bed that's a cubit high, and it's made from these three plants, the flea bane, ash foddle, and curly parsley. Kai PMI, and I will drink... Interestingly, in this context here, this is not a symposium. He's not drinking with a group of people, although someone is cooking a bean and someone's going to sing and so on, but it's, it's essentially him by himself. It's quite a, a different scene to the sort of symposium scene that we might get elsewhere. It gives the sense that he's, he is contented. I think Kai PMI, this is the future from Pino, uh, it's, it goes into the middle in the, the future. And I will drink malakos. Well, very funny word to use here. It means softly, perhaps gently. So he's not going to drink heavily. He's going to drink gently. Memnaminos, remembering agianax. It takes genitive here. Autais en kulikesi kai estruga kelos eredon. Um... In these very cups from Kulix, the declension date of plural, so in these very cups, eradon pressing my kelos, my lip, s truga, even to the dregs, even to the, the dregs of the cup. Aule siunti de moi do apoimenes, and two shepherds. Now this is a future here from Alio, will play the pipe for me. Ace men Arcanius, one of them an Arcanian. Uh, Ace de Lucopitas, and one uh, Lycopitan, so someone from Lycopi. Uh, and Hode uh, Titerus, Engrithen Aise. And Titerus. This is from uh, Aiso to uh, Aido, I should say, to sing. This is from uh, Aido to sing. Uh, this is the future. So Titerus will sing Enguthen from nearby. Titerus is often in elsewhere in Theocritus. It's the name given to goats, but here it obviously, uh, presumably, is a human being because they're singing a song. But again, it's meant to evoke the pastoral setting. So Titerus will sing from nearby. He will sing Hos Poka, how once Daphnis Hobutas, Daphnis the cowherd, uh, Eraseto, this is from uh, uh, Era am I, to love, so was in love with Xenia. We hear, this is this must be the same Daphnis we hear about in, of course, Idol 1. We're not told who the lover is in that poem, but here we get the name Xenia. So he was in love with Xenia. Uh, and uh, co co's for Kaihos. And uh, how the Oros, the mountain, uh, Amphiponeto from Amphiponio, 
and something like was was troubled, was concerned about him, and how the druids, the oak trees, Ethranun, this is imperfect from Thranio, uh, to lament, how they were sad for him, or were lamenting him. Um, these these oak trees, Haite, which Fu onti for Fu or Fu Usi, which grow beside the Oxysin, the banks of the river, genitive here, Oyo, genitive in Oyo, that Homeric Oyo ending, beside the banks of the river Himera. Now that is a genitive here with the alpha. Uh, so it's one of those so-called Doric genitives. So beside the banks of the river Himera, it would be uh, Himeras, I think, in the nominative. Eutychion uh, hostis katataketa macron hof hymen. When, uh, so Ute when, kataketa, uh, this is from kata plus a verb takemai, which is um, uh, to waste away. This you'll see this one also, of course, in Italy one, and this is kata takemai. So, like some snow. So we would just say like the snow, perhaps like any snow. Um, he was so when he was melting away like the snow under Macron. Possibly far away, I think here it could also mean high. Hymos. Uh, all these, th these are all mountains, and these are all mountains that are quite far away from where he would be, quite far, far from Kos. So under the perhaps far away or high Hymos or Athos or Rhodopis or the Caucasus and uh, Ekastoonta. The, this is um, from uh, Escato Ace, I think. It's a, it simply means far remotest, far away, most far away, most remote uh, Caucasus. I say de hos poc edecto ton ipalon urialanax. And he will sing how once the broad larnax, this is a chest can be used of a coffin but um, it's a large it's a large chest so the broad chest the wide coffer the wide chest edecto this is a apocopated aorist here you get this in homer it from decamai it received the goat herd the chi in the decamai gets deaspirated back to a kappa before the tor here it's sometimes called an apocopated aorist from Decamai. Uh, so he will sing how once this the broad chest received the goat herd. This is, um, of course, referring back to Daphnis. Uh, while he was Zoan Onta, while he was still alive. Um, and then Atastaliaisin by the... Um, the well reckless sometimes translated as I think by the reckless wickednesses the re reckless evils of his master now the story is apparently that Daphnis was in the habit of offering his master's goats to the muses so in retaliation his master locked him in a box to see if the muses would come and help him uh, the box was opened after two months and Daphnis was found alive with a box full of honeycomb. So it's just a beautiful little story about Daphnis, uh, a little um, pastoral story. And how, because this is all after singing, so you were singing how this, how this broad box re once received the goat herd while he was still alive, by the reckless wickednesses of his master, and how high simai, and that goes with melisai on the next line here. Um, the word order is quite um, interwoven here. 
Simos is an interesting word. It means snub-nosed or flat-nosed. And elsewhere in Theocritus, he jokingly seems to be using it of himself, that he describes himself as having a flat nose or a snub nose. Here it goes with the melissi, the bees. So perhaps just the flat nosed bees. The oisai is a participle, feminine agreeing with melissi, from, um, a, from the root from Amy Ibo. So coming, or perhaps, yeah. So the bees coming. Furbon is a verb, and this is an imperfect without augment. So it simply means to feed, so that they were feeding. Lemonoth uh, that we get that old that ending from the meadow. So how the bee, how the flat-nosed bees, coming from the meadow uh, to the sweet kedron. This is another word, well, connected with our word cedar, but it's a cedar chest here, the fragrant, and it goes with hardeon, sweet probably fragrant here. So to the fragrant 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 uh, cedar chest they were feeding him malakois anthesin with soft flowers. So just to do that complicated bit again, so how the snub nosed bees uh, coming from the meadow were feeding Nin him, Nin for Auton uh, so having come from the meadow to the uh, fragrant cedar chest, they were feeding him with soft flowers. A lot of interweaving of, of words here, because it's very poetic. Hunica hoi glucu moisa catastomatus nectar, nectar, sorry. Hunica... So probably a henica for hottie here, something like because uh, the musa, now singular here, the muse, singular, ke'e is imperfect from ke'o, without augment. So the muse was pouring, gluku goes with nectar, it's neuter, uh, were pouring sweet nectar for him, hoi, for auto, Catastomitos down his mouth, into his mouth. O Macariste Comata, O Blessed Comatus, to then Tariterpna Peponthes. Now, Pepontha is from, perfect from Pasco, to, well, to suffer, but can also mean to experience. Uh, Thain is a particle, it's an epic particle uh, with. It's equivalent to day, delta, eta, that strong day. You, in fact, experienced, so it's almost you also experienced these uh, terpna, these joyful things. In other words, the same thing happened to Comatus as happened to Daphnis. Chi 2, and you also, Cataclastes from Cataclio, you were shut up in a larnax in a chest. Kai tu melisan kyria furbominos etos horion exeponasas. So, and you, um, now this is probably a middle participle rather than passive here. It's furbo again, so it's uh, feeding on caria. This is, of course, the. Um, Honeycomb. Melisan, this is the arn for own of the bees. So you also, feeding upon the honeycomb of the bees, exeponasas, literally you completed um, a year, hurry on, well, with, with all its seasons. Uh, Hunter, Richard Hunter in his commentary renders this uh, as uh, you laboured from Ekponio, so you laboured um, uh, through the, sp the spring of the year. So it's so being fed, so you also being, uh, sorry, feeding on the honeycomb of bees, you laboured through the year, or through the, the, um, through the spring of the year. 
So the springtime of the year, that's the Orion, the uh, Orion Etos there. Aeth apemut soais en arithmios ophiles, amen. Now the Aeth there and the ophiles really sort of slightly redundant, they go together. Both of these mean would that you. So the Aeth there for Aethe, or Aethe, would that, uh, would that you, um, amen from, this is like ani to be. So would that you were in arithmos numbered in or numbered among tsois the living ep mu in my day in other words you would that you were numbered among those in my lifetime hos toy egon hos uh, toy egon enomuen an Aurea Tuscalus Aegas. Uh, and thus I and you know, the toy could be for soy, could be in could be this that indeed. So uh, this is from Nomuo to pasture to uh, look after uh, my to pasture my beautiful goats. An Aurea, this is from Anna, and this is from Oros with a lengthened uh, Omicron here. Um, so thus I, it's almost so that I was um, pasturing my beautiful goats up and down the mountain. Perhaps the toy may be soy with you. S A E O in participle from uh, A E O is to hear the verb of hearing. So that I might hear, and it's taking a genitive, your phonase, your voice. Tu de hupa drusin kai hupa pukais, and you, um, uh, Melis Dominos, singing hardu sweetly, and you had, this is a pluperfect here from Cataclino, and you had reclined under the oak trees and under the pukais, under the pine trees. Thea comata divine comatus. And that's the end of the beautiful song of Lycidas. And we will continue on with the next part later. And we're going to then hear the beautiful song of Simicidas.